Sarah. And we're doing Victory Book Reviews. Today we're talking about The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertini. Is that how we say it? How do we? Oh, man. <laughs> Albertelli? I don't know. Albertelli. She also wrote Simon vs. the Homeo Sapien Agenda. Um, this book is about Molly and her sister Cass, who are being raised by two moms. And um, they were born from a sperm donor. And Cass has gotten a new girlfriend. And so she and Cass and her new girlfriend are trying to push Molly towards dating one of the new girlfriend's best friends because then they would be great and like they could all go out together. But Molly starts a new job and there's a boy there who's like not cool because he goes to Renaissance fairs and stuff named Reed. And she kind of connects with him and she kind of has a crush on him, but she doesn't know what she do, should do and it all gets kind of complicated from there. And that's the very basic what it's about. Now that you're talking about the summary, I'm like remembering more parts of why I was so mad at this book. Yeah, we have very <laughs> different views on this book. I kind of I liked it. I, I thought it was a super quick read. I read it like in a day. I mean, as a romance book, it's solidly okay. And maybe that's why I'm why I liked it. You didn't is that I'm viewing it without realizing it as a romance book. But like, as a whole, it wasn't good and. As a whole, the things that I actually remember about it make me mad. Um, because the biggest issue for me was the weight issues. As far as the main character is kind of body image obsessed to the point that she feels like she's got an eating disorder. Like I've seen this in other books where the main character has an eating disorder. You interpret that because they don't come out and say that. She, yeah. she does, the character doesn't feel it, but you feel like... The character seems as if. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and it just becomes frustrating because she she keeps going. Oh, there's so much to it. Um. So she keeps going back and forth over. I'm so fat. It's ter. I look terrible. Blah 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 blah. It's like a constant internal monologue. And then she kind of places these body image issues on everybody else around her. Like he's fat and he doesn't look good because he's fat and. Because Reed, the other character, is husky, or fat, as she likes to call him. Um, it's just, it's unbelievable for me in that, in this environment, everybody's so accepting of everyone on the sexual orientation spectrum, from, you know, pansexual, lesbian, to bisexual, to a trans, somebody who's transgendered. Like, they're all accepting of this. There's not a word said negatively about it, which is awesome. Like, that's an awesome right. world. However... There's this big kind of elephant in the room where everybody's talking about and has issues with body image and they're not accepting with pe for people who are different shapes and sizes. And so it, that makes it unbelievable for me in that, okay, cool, I'm glad that you're accepting of all that, but it just, the balance isn't there for me. Like, how can you be so, like, over the top accepting of all of this, but then, you know, be so close-minded with all of this other? See, and I didn't notice that part, but I did notice that, like, it was almost like she was trying to hit every diversity. Oh, she definitely was. Like, one of the moms was Jewish, and the other one was African American, and then there's the pansexual girlfriend, and then there's, I mean, it was, like, everything. Well, the lesbian moms, then you've got the lesbian daughter, then you've got the other daughter who dated somebody who was a tra uh, male tra a transitioned male. There was that part. So she hit it she hit it all. Yeah, and it was it just felt a little too much. It felt forced. But right. everything felt a little too much. I mean, they all just were like so hipster, so like extreme. It it did feel like the characters like it was just yeah. They were like caricatures is what it was because there wasn't really any development behind their personality. They were simply caricatures. I don't know. See, like I it didn't really bother me reading it, but looking back on it, yeah, there they was definitely over the top, hipstery. I can't even think of how to describe it. Basically, yeah, caricatures. I mean, yeah, that's what it comes down to. And like I said, I really, I really enjoyed the, the tie-ins to her first book, Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda. Wait, what? Yeah, Sarah and I have been like every time I mention something, she's like, I didn't see that at all. So wait, where did it happen? So there was the, um, where she's texting Abby from Simon, 
Wait, that Simon the Simon from Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I missed that. <laughs> yes. Abby and Nick come to visit at one point. And Nick was the best friend in Simon. Oh. Oh, oh, oh man. Wow, that was like a big Oh, okay. Big yeah. part of the book. So I didn't really like Simon vs. Homo <laughs> sapiens. Obviously I didn't remember. Her books aren't memorable. I don't know, like for me. there was something like I enjoyed Her characters it. Characters aren't memorable. And maybe I, I enjoyed it, it was. because it was like I looked viewed it as a romance book. I know, but like her characters are, are so not memorable enough for me to even realize that I mean, that's a big part of the book that I missed. That's true. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So Abby so maybe we should just write it. Okay. So I originally, so we aren't doing halves. I originally gave it a four on Goodreads, but now thinking back on it, I think I'm going to give it a three unicorn. I don't know where I'm at with this because I'm not going to recommend it to anybody because, and I know it's self-censoring and all that kind of crap that I shouldn't do, but it, the narrative, there are other romance novels that do it better. The narrative, I don't like when they have, ish, they negatively impact body image issues, and I'm not going to suggest it. Um, so I'm going to give it two unicorns. This is a romance that works, but I'm not going to recommend it. And that's where we are with Upside of Unrequited. So, Bye. Adios!